Hey, I'm going to grab a coffee. I'm going to share with you, though, the three things you need to know on how to take a prospect and turn them into an excited prospect in three simple steps. I'm going to share all that and more in this morning's marketing tip. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it is I, Greg Gums, the third founder, CEO, FastStartMarketer.com. Let's see if I can actually get it on the door. Right there. Ding. And that's my office space. I'm leaving my office here. Uh, you know, one of the things I've been talking about a lot about lately, I'm getting ready for a Fast Start Summit. We're doing a live event here in just a few weeks. We're getting all of our curriculum together. This is our event board, so we've got all of the things we've got going on. We're going to be discussing, and this is our conference room, so I'm going to come in here, <clears throat> and I'm going to share with you a couple of quick strategies before I go grab a cup of coffee to help you understand exactly what you need to do with a prospect to keep them engaged, keep them focused, and most importantly, keep them interested in what it is you have to offer before you pick up the phone to talk to them. Now, one of the things we talk about, the prospects are everywhere. Look, people always talk about, I need better quality leads. Better quality leads aren't found. They're generated. They're, they're, um, they're produced. And it doesn't matter if it's a lead that you're getting from the internet or if it's something that's already watching a video or watching some information in advance on you or if it's a cold lead, you're buying a lead from a list vendor or you've got some leads of opportunity seekers, whatever that happens to be, these folks need to go through a process uh, to get them to a point where they are ready to learn more about what it is you have to offer. And in that, it's a, it, you know, there's a lot of confusion that people have about what they should do, what needs to be covered. They're expecting magical leads that somehow will just, you know, automatically have positioning or posture and want to buy what you have to offer. And although that sounds great in theory, the reality is it just doesn't exist unless you do what I'm about to share with you right now. There's three specific steps as I try to get this situated here. Sorry for the Blair Witch Project stuff. There's three specific things you need to do with a prospect that gets them already fired up, excited, ready to learn more about your offer. And what is that? Well, it's actually pretty simple. They need to have a need, they need to have a want, and they need to be willing to take action on your offer. Now, that seems basic, but let me go ahead and go through what I'm talking about here uh, to make sure you understand what we're talking about. Look, bottom line is prospects have to have a need. So if you're selling a product, uh, now, you know, with recent FTC rules and violations and uh, the, the coming down on Herbalife and Vima, things that you need to really be aware of, uh, one of the things I'm going to tell you right here is I'm going to teach you how to go sell product funnels first, not recruiting funnels. Recruiting is actually very easy to do. Recruiting is not hard to do. If you can sell products, if you can get people coming in by the droves for your products, selling, you know, uh, recruiting, actually I should say, business builders is actually very simple to do. It's not hard. What you need to concentrate on is a product fulfillment form. So I'm going to talk about that. Product services, travel programs, weight loss, whatever it is you're doing as a product or service, you need to learn how to have a funnel that does that specifically. Make sense? <clears throat> I'm going to be covering some more details on that television over there later on, but for right now. What you need to understand is, is that when you actually concentrate on finding people who have a want, need, and desire and a willingness to take action on your offer uh, before you pick up the phone to talk to them, you ultimately put yourself in a position that uh, allows you to, to share more, to sell more, to get more products. And to, it's, you also eliminate rejection. It's kind of silly to do it any other way. It's easier to get folks already interested when you meet these three criteria. So how do you do that, Greg? It's very simple. Number one. If you're selling meat, don't target vegetarians. If your product is weight loss, target folks who want to lose weight, that they are needing to lose weight. So if you're talking to folks who have, you know, who are thin as rail and actually are already taking competitive, uh, competitive products for leaning their muscle out or whatever, that's probably not your best ideal prospect to go after. Unless your product is better than those, this prospect is going to be very well educated and you're going to need to do a lot of convincing to prove that your product's better than the product they're already taking. Probably not the best way to go. So what I better recommend is going after folks who are actually looking for products that have a tendency, a low success rate. Jenny Craig, Weight Watchers, uh, any kind of fad weight loss product or program. You literally can go buy leads for 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 cents a piece of people who have purchased uh, products over the phone, off of the television, and have invested hundreds of dollars, thousands of dollars in weight loss products and regimens that you can follow up with and actually help them go get uh, your products and services and help them see a result. So that you already know they have a need because they're taking action on them. So there's some really good leads you can go and target. Uh, so the first thing is they have to have a need. Do they have to lose, they need to lose weight. Now here's the key thing. Just because someone needs to lose weight doesn't necessarily mean that they want to lose weight. They may be fat and happy. And if that's the case, leave them alone. You want to find folks that are actually looking to lose the weight. 
And when you find those folks, you want to actually talk to them. Now, hey, uh, you, you were complaining earlier. I was talking with my uncle the other day, and he was talking about how, grumbling about how big his belly was. And I, I said, ah, you know, uh, one of the things, one of the programs I do is actually helps people lose quite a bit of weight. I mean, are you serious about wanting to lose weight, or are you, are you really just happy where you are? You just, you just wish magically it would fix itself. No, no, I actually genuinely want to learn how to, to lose weight. What do I got to do? You know, do I have to give up my favorite foods? No, you actually can continue to eat those, but you do have to qualify in a certain way. Let me ask you a few questions, see if this would be a good fit for you, right? Then what he said is, okay, I tell you what, grab a pen and piece of paper, let me get you the details. He said, all right, I gap everyone. And the reason I do that is because that demonstrates the third step. Are you willing to do what I tell you to do when I tell you to do it to prove to me that you're willing to do what's necessary to do when it's time to do it at a bigger rate? <laughs> so in other words, I'm going to test you right now to actually do something. Write it down now. And if you're willing to do that now, I can start to build a crescendo of action, a crescendo of momentum, that when I eventually ask you for <clears throat> time to attend a webinar or a conference call or something that will actually give all the details, a website and going and studying it, I give them that information, but I actually condition them up to that point so that by the time they actually go get that information, they're prepared and they're willing to do what's necessary. I want to go over these three steps again. Do they have a need? Are they overweight? Are they, do they have a want? Do they want to lose the weight or are they just grumbling about whatever? And you can ask that question specifically. It's very simple. Hey, you know, you, you're, oh, I'm so, I'm so sick of this, my clothes don't fit, blah, blah, blah. You know, one of the things I do is actually help people lose weight with the stuff. I've lost about 15 pounds. Are you really serious about wanting to lose weight or are you just grumbling about it because it's complaining about it? It's okay. If you're, if you're not interested. No, no, I, I am. W what are you doing? Well, what I do is I specifically show folks how to actually change their diets, actually supplement a bit so they can still continue to eat the stuff they want but without having to you know, give up their favorite foods and still continue to lose up to 10 to 15 pounds over 10 to 20 days. Uh, if I could show you how to do that, I mean, is that worth your time? Is that something you're, if you're serious about doing it? Uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to push stuff on you. If you're serious, I can show you how. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, great. Grab a pen and a piece of paper. Let me get you the details. We'll get together and go over it. That's it. Very, very simple. The fact of the matter is when you go through those three factors, do you have a need, do you have a want, and are you willing to do what I'm telling you to do when I'm telling you to do it so that when I'm asking you to do it later on, you're willing to do even more stuff later on. When you go through those three steps, you're going to have the best prospects in the world to get it done. Uh, this Thursday, I'm going to be hosting a webinar where I'm going to actually go over in-depth scripts, strategies, tactics, how you can take the leads you already have right now. You don't even need to go get more leads. Just how to take the leads you already have right now and show them how to actually get on your products, your services, your opportunities, how to frame them perfectly, how to ask the questions that I'm doing right now naturally because I've conditioned myself over time to do it. And I'm going to share with you exactly how to do it in your business. It's all that and more in this webinar. And all you have to do is click the link, faststartmarketer.com forward slash live and get registered for our next webinar. Or if you're already on this page, simply click the form below, fill in all the information, let me know what your biggest challenge is in your recruiting business, and I will answer those questions and more on this Wednesday or in this Thursday's webinar. Take action, my friend, register for the next webinar, and I will see you live on the call. Talk to you then.